Okay, so this little video is a demonstration of testing the three-phase motor with the peak meter PM5203. Uh, it's being done as a request by somebody who has a problem with their PM5203 and wants to verify its operation against mine. Um, so what I'm going to do is go through a basic test of the motor that I would use an insulation tester for. And I also have test results for this motor using the MTR105 that I can compare the ones to from the PM5203. So with, with everything isolated, tested for dead, and then disconnected, um, my first test will be the winding resistance measurements. To do that, I am gonna use the common terminal and the high V ohms continuity symbol terminal there. So these two are on the left of the instrument, if you like. Uh, switch the instrument round to ohms continuity and if I can get them up so you can see the screen a bit better uh, we will, This should be automatic actually So I've got L1 there to L2 And that's 26.2 ohms Then go L2 to L3 26.1 ohms, and then the final one, L3 back to L1, is 26.2. Okay, so that would be my first test. Now we move on to an insulation test. For this particular motor, just because it's wired in delta configuration, um, so I've got combined windings in there, it's just going to be the one test that I do. One probe onto the earth and then the other. I'm going to link these three phase wires together, get the crop clip around them as one. And then for the instrument I'm going to move common terminal over to the second insulation test terminal. Um, if you don't do that you will get a completely open circuit reading which I'll just show you now. Uh, let's turn around there. So the jet was testing on a thousand volts and he was always getting 10.10 10 giga ohms, which is the max reading on this. Uh, and if I hit the go button now, you can see I've got 10.10 giga ohms on there. So if you don't move this terminal over, you will get effectively an open circuit reading. So we'll plug that back into there. Uh, we are connected to the motor. And we are hit 10.1. Put the light on again. Oh. Okay, can't do it that way on test. So we've got about 18 mega ohms there with that. Uh, we'll just drop him back down to 500 volts. Volts. Put a light on this time, and you can see it's gone up 231, 248, 253 mega ohms there. So, all that's happening with the instrument that's shown over 10.10 is the insulation is better than what the meter can actually read if you've done all the connections right, as per I've done there. Um, unfortunately for this motor, it doesn't actually do that because the insulation isn't that good on this motor. Uh, but the other thing I can show you, if you ever have doubts about your insulation tester, I do carry around these little test resistors that I've made up. This is 68 mega ohms, uh, it's a 10 kV resistor inside, so it's perfectly good to use on a thousand volts and you can clip them across the tester there. I'll put the light on, hit the go button, and you can see you know, 66.9 mega ohms. And if you continue to use the same resistor, you can build up a test trend if you do it once a month or once a week if you really must, and you can verify if you've ever got bad reading on the instrument you can verify basic operation of the instrument with a test resistor you can carry around. 
Um, the slightly more professional way of doing that as opposed to building your own up is to use something like the cow card here. These are widely available in uh, the UK certainly. I've got five various resistors here from 0.5 to 20 mega ohm and I can just put the uh, probes across there, this should be the 20 mega ohm. Uh, Put the light back on again, hit the go button. And you see I've got a 19.1 mega ohms read in there. And I've verified this on an instrument, so the actual value is 19.86, so pretty much there with this. Um, and finally, the other check you can do with your insulation tester to see if it's working okay, is basically just short your leads out and you should get a zero reading on your instrument and then you see zero there. What I do sometimes do um, as I set my test up uh, and I find an earth point to go on I will then find something else on the chassis of the motor or a piece of uni strut or something cable support nearby and I will actually carry out uh, an insulation test on that and get a turn the light on, carry out an insulation test and get a short circuit reading, and that proves I've got a good earth circuit uh, around the instrument, and I'm making a, a good test reference point. Um, and that is pretty much how you test a small three phase motor with big meter insulation tester. As I say, I've got the readings from the MTL105 for this motor, so I'll put a little table up, put those next to the readings. From this but they are pretty much there or thereabouts. Okay so that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you found it useful and I'll see you again in another video.